So today we're going to be starting on our 3D Oaxacan animals. These are made with a, some recycled materials as the armature or the skeleton underneath. Most of them begin with a water bottle unless you're doing something like a turtle or something with a different shape. So this one has a larger water bottle, this one has a little bit smaller water bottle with a bottle cap for the nose. Um, you can make legs out of different things and I'm going to show you just some basic construction techniques. You're going to start with your water bottle and think about where, which angle you want it, what end you want to be, the front and the back. And one way to add legs is to use um, paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. This one is a little bit too thick. So to do that, I'm going to cut the length of leg that I want. You want to make sure it's a little longer than you need because you need an area to attach. You'll see in the next step. I'm going to cut it in half and roll it a little smaller. It's a good idea before starting this to roll out several pieces of tape and cut them on the side of your table because you'll have your hands free that way. You're not trying to cut tape at the same time. So you're going to roll it up and tape around to make a leg. It doesn't have to look pretty. All of this is going to get covered up. You just want it really securely attached. Then you want to make four of those if it's a four legged animal. And the next step is to cut some little slits in the top so that you have an area to attach to your, the body of your animal. If you try and attach a flat end to, to the round edge, it will not stay very well. So by cutting those slits and bending it out, it's almost like a tree trunk. It will give you something better to add tape to. I'm now going to use some of those pieces of tape around to hold that leg in place. You want to make sure these are typed really securely and you want to do it with all four legs. You have to think about is your animal going to be standing up on all four legs? Is it going to be sitting? Um, how exactly do you want it to be? A lot of times with sculpture it is trial and error and you might start out with one idea and it might turn into something completely different. That's okay. So I'm going to tape those really securely before I move on. Then I can think about do I want my back legs, do I want it sitting like that, or do I want it standing on all four legs, and I'm going to then attach my next pieces. If one leg is a little too long, you can trim it off like I just did. I'm thinking I might want my animal sitting, kind of like a dog or a cat sits back on their back legs and has their front legs long, and so I'm going to tape that in a different way to the bottom. It's up to you how you attach them, you just need to make sure they're really securely attached. You don't want it flopping around like that. You want to make sure that the tape is on there really, really well. Sometimes it helps even to work with someone else at your table if you need help, or you can let me know if you need help. It is very useful to have pieces of tape cut ahead of time so that you can get this attached. And you want to use longer pieces of tape so that it can wrap all the way around the bottle and hold it on really well. Once your legs are all attached, you can think about the head. Um, your head may be part of the body, Part, you might be able to use the water bottle as your head, or you might want to add an extra head like I did on that yellow one. This um, pig, That pig one has a little bottle cap used for its head or a spool. There's all kinds of different recycled materials you can use for the different parts. Sometimes looking at them help you helps give you an idea of how you want your head to be shaped. One way of doing it is to take some newspaper and crumpling it up into a ball. And then again, have some tape handy so that you can tape around the ball to hold it in shape. You want to make sure it does not need to be completely covered with tape, but you want it to be nice and secure so that you can then attach it to your body. It is helpful sometimes if you make a little hole in it so that the bottle cap can, it can nestle on there. It will help attach it more securely. So you're going to tape that in place really well. And when that's finished, you just want to think about what else do you need to add? Are you going to add a nose? Are you going to add a tail? Is there any main structural thing you need to still add? Little details like ears and things like that, sometimes noses, can be added at the end with things like fabric or pom-poms or things like that. 